is one of the recently proposed index structure that running key position relationship using machine learning is the neural network. Therefore, we tried to uh, realize people based on round index. First, sort IP, uh, IP prefix in ascending order uh, and store them in array. Second, uh, run the relation between each IP prefix and its position if it's a neural network. When searching, predict, uh, predict the position uh, of the destination IP address of an ingress packet with a neural network. And search the longest, longest matching prefix about uh, around the predicted position. Now, to realize LPN, two issues uh, arise. First, the first issue, uh, it, is, it is difficult to determine which direction the longest matching prefix exists. For example, uh, suppose that destination IP address 133.161 and round index uh, predict the position of 23. But in this case, uh, which direction to search for the longest matching prefix? Second issue is that the longest matching prefix may exist very far from the IP prefix that is nearest to the ingress, pack, ingress IP address. For example, uh, suppose that destination IP address 133.122940 and round index predict the position of uh, 105. But in this case, longest matching prefix is very far from nearest prefix. Next, we have to uh, think about time and space complexity. Uh, a single neural network alone, can, alone cannot predict positions of entries accurately. So, uh, we adopt hierarchical round index. In hierarchical round index, there are two, two steps uh, in predicting, predicting the position. First, the model uh, in first stage roughly predicts the positions, and models in second stage precisely, precisely predict the positions. Uh, now, challenges are caused by hierarchical round index. Uh, first, uh, we have to compute two neural network. Second, we have to maintain multiple, multiple neural network models. Uh, to solve the, uh, the uh, challenge about LPM, we reduce LPM to exact matching. Uh, the core idea and uh, approach is uh, as, follow, as following. Uh, LPM is reduced to exact matching if ANFIB maintains next for information for every IP address and, G and aggregate FIB entries according to the next hop information of consecutive entries. To construct such a FIB, uh, first, uh, actually create ANFIB that for the next hop for all IP addresses and aggregate consecutive consecutive entries whose next hops are the same. When searching, predict the position of the destination IP address of an ingress packet with a neural network, and search for the nearest IP address in the FIB. Uh, this is before FIB. In default FIB, uh, in before FIB uh, IP prefix is, uh, uh, is used as a key for searching. But in this PIP, IP address is used as a key for searching. To solve the, uh, to solve the challenge about uh, fast computation, uh, uh, computation and uh, space complexity, uh, we did two things. First, using the uh, significant n bits to determine the second stage model uh, instead of using a neural network. 
to, aggregate, uh, to accelerate the computing speed of the first stage model. Uh, for example, suppose that at n bits is 8 bit and destination IP address is this. In this case, uh, the significant 8 bits is an integer uh, 216. So, a uh, fast, fast stage model uh, determining model 2.216. Second, uh, we use as few neurons and hidden layers as possible to accelerate uh, the computing speed and, the re and reduce the size of the second stage model. We have implemented a round index and evaluated its performance. Evaluate, evaluation uh, purpose is to investigate uh, op suboptimal parameters of the round FIP and to compare the round FIP with the FIP based on level compression try, as known as LC try FIP. About evaluation conditions, about the data, we use BGP routing, inform routing information base snapshot measured by root view project. The next hop information is computed according to the GS relationship measured by Kaida. About measurement platform, we use Geon Gold's CPU. Describe uh, how to determine uh, parameters values. First, the number of second stage model. This figure shows that in the improvement in the error is saturated for more than uh, 256 models. Second, the number of neurons. Uh, this figure, the improvement, uh, this figure shows the improvement in the error is saturated around eight neurons. Third, the number of hidden layer. This figure shows the improvement in the error is saturated around two layers, but the difference of the error between the first layer case and the two layer case is small. So uh, we determined uh, parameter values in these. The, uh, the comp we analyze uh, computation time and me memory size. Uh, we use the number of CPU cycles required to find the next hop for one IP address as computation time. Uh, the computation time of round feed is almost equivalent to that of that of to LC try feed. Next. Uh, Next, I discuss memory sites. We reduce the memory sites uh, of round FIP to, to, uh, to less than half that of LC dry FIP. LC dry FIP consists of uh, bad sizes, uh, uh, bits for the skip bit validation, and next up information. Please note that LC dry FIP must maintain a bit sequence but bit sequence for validated, validating skipped bit, uh, skipped bits. And round FIB consists in uh, key in FIB entries, weights in model, and next up information. Uh, we investigate dependency between computation time and match prefix ranks. Uh, please see figure. Uh, figure, uh, this figure presents the average number of CPU cycles for each ranks of match prefixes, prefixes with 95% confidence intervals. Result. Uh, as a result, uh, LC dry FIP, uh, the computation time is, uh, is it as the ranks of prefixes in increases. But the computation time round of round FIB does not depend on the length of prefixes. 
conclusion. There are two challenges for realizing an IP fib using round index. Therefore, uh, no, uh, then we took two approach uh, to solve the challenge, to solve the challenges. As a result, a uh, round fib is half as small as LC dry fib, uh, while it, it achieves the same computation time. Computation time of the round fib is independent of the prefix length, unlike existing fib. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Thanks a lot, Shunsuka. So, um, interesting talks. Are there a question? Uh, so, I have uh, one question regarding to the implementation of your solution. Uh, so, since uh, uh, you would like to use this uh, tool to perform the longest prefix match, uh, did you try implement it uh, in routers? And do you think it could be actually usable uh, in a real infrastructure? Uh, actually, uh, well. can I talk? I'm a co-author of this paper. Okay, yes, it's okay. Sure. Yeah, sure, but I'm, I'm Yuki and uh, co-author of this uh, work. I have an answer to your question. Actually, we didn't, we didn't implement this uh, mechanism on uh, their routers. And uh, actually, our work uh, assumes uh, software routers. I mean, the router implemented on uh, commercial or the shelf computers. So in such a sense, uh, mm, our work will be usable for uh, real scenario. But if, if we assume a hardware router, it has a more fast uh, ASIC based memory like TCAM. So uh, a little bit different uh, situation. Uh, compared to our assumed environment. So our answer is uh, yes, implemented, but on the software router, and uh, but not on the hardware router. Is that OK? okay. Oh, yeah, sure. Thanks for your answer. Are there other questions? Uh, one thing I didn't get too much is uh, what is the computational complexity uh, with increasing number of prefixes that was not not on the land, but number. What number? <laughs> yes, uh, actually, uh, the, our slide does not well explain about uh, comparisons. So LC try is a tree based data structure. So if the prefix length becomes long, so we need to traverse many vertices. So it increases uh, computation time. Uh, unlike the LC try fib, uh, our, uh, our data structure is independent from the length of the prefix because uh, uh, mechanism only compute a certain uh, fixed number of neural networks. So in such sense, uh, our mechanism is independent of the number uh, length of the prefix.
Okay, so uh, I would like to thank uh, uh, everyone again for all the interesting speech and uh, to stay with us uh, until the end. Luca, do you have any close uh, remark? I guess I was speaking with the microphone off. <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I was like speaking for a full minute without uh, acknowledging I was speaking. Now, yeah, I wanted to, as Daniel said, thanks uh, everybody, especially me, the authors, but also the participants now that um, listen to these interesting talks and also the co-chairs, in particular Daniel Giordano, but also Zili and Abhishek, and, um, and also then all the committee that spent a lot of effort in uh, reviewing the paper and the authors then revising for the camera-ready version. And I hope you, you like this workshop, even if it was virtual. Unfortunately, we will not go out now and talk, keep talking for the whole evening, but I really hope that next time, next workshop will be will be in person and so we will meet we can meet each other and uh, enlarging this nice community you want to add something Anilo? Uh, no I don't have much to add uh, I hope as well that you enjoy the workshop uh, we hope to uh, repeat this workshop next year uh, we don't know yet if it will be in person or not uh, we have to see how the situation will evolve, uh, but we hope uh, there will be the chance to meet uh, everyone uh, uh, next year. So in case, uh, we will keep you posted and we hope to see you again uh, in the next video. So thank you again. And if you still have questions, please write an email, drop an email. Also, if you're seeing this uh, not live, but recorded, and we'll make available the slides and the recording as soon as possible, maybe even, even earlier today, I'm not sure. Okay, so thank you, bye-bye, and see you next year.